So the question at hand is to find the hundredth derivative of f of x given by x plus x power 5 plus x power 7 raised power 10 multiplied by 1 plus x squared raised power 11 multiplied by x power 3 plus x power 5 plus x power 7 and then to find the 99th derivative of the function f of x given in 1. So uh, the first thing to be able to solve this question is to determine the degree of the polynomial f of x. And because uh, the first, let me just demonstrate the solution. So solution. So f of x given is x plus x power 5 plus x power 7 raised power 10, 1 plus x squared for 11, x cubed plus x power 5 plus x power 7. So what we are sure of is that <laughs> the highest power of x in this first bracket will be x power 7 raised to the power 10, while the highest power of x are in the second bracket. So this one we have x power 7 raised to the power 10. And then this other bracket will have x squared raised to the power 11. This other one will have just x power 7. So this will give us x power 70. This will give us x power 22. This will give us x power 7. So this gives us x power 70 plus 22 plus 7. And this is x power 99. So it means that if you expand f of x, then the highest power of x in that expansion will be x power 99. So we say, uh, i.e. f of x is a polynomial function of degree 99. So then now, it means that the hand, uh, the hundred derivative of f of x equals to zero. Since, for example, if you have a polynomial of say degree two, let's say x squared, so that the highest power. So the first derivative would be given by 2x. The second derivative would be given by 2. So if you are to get now the third derivative, you get 0 because we're be getting a constant. So because the highest degree of uh, the highest power of x in this polynomial is 99, then the 99th derivative will give a constant. So the 100th derivative will give 0 because differentiating a constant we get a zero value. Now, second part, uh, we note that for any integer, n less than or equal to 99 and 98, then the 99th derivative of f of x is the same as 99th derivative of 
f of x highest power is 99 plus other terms of degree at most, so 99 minus 1, 98, degree at most, 98. So if we expand, f of x, so we find that really the structure of f of x is given by x raised to 99 plus terms of degree at most 98. So which means that the 99th derivative of f of x is the same as 99th derivative of x per 99 plus terms of degree at most 98. Now, we are sure that, so this is the same as the 99th derivative of this x raised to 99 plus 99th derivative of these terms of degree at most Ninety-eight. Now the second part we are sure that the answer here will be zero. Because we'll be differentiating a constant. So this will be zero. So uh, this leaves us with 99th derivative of x uh, power 99. Now to know how this answer looks like, we can just use an example. For example, if you say, if you have the fourth derivative of x power four. So of x power four as your function. So the first derivative of x power four, you'll get four x power three. Second derivative of x power four, with the derivative of the first derivative will be four. Now drop this times three, and then x power two. And then third derivative <coughs> of x power four, you'll get four times three, you drop the power two, and then x, and then the fourth derivative of x power four, differentiating this one, you get four times three times two times one. So uh, this tells us that, I uh, see if you write this one, this simply uh, four times three times two times one is the definition of four factorial. So that tells us that uh, the 99th derivative of x power 99 is the same as 99 times 98 times 97 times 96 all the way times 3 times 2 up to times 1. And so this is simply the definition of 99 factorial.
So therefore, this is the answer to the second part of the problem. Thank you.